Hi friends, these three schools in the US require no application fee from international students and they offer full scholarships to international students. Another advantage of these universities is that you can apply with a CGPA as low as 2.75 and they offer both undergraduate and graduate programs in numerous fields of study. And amazingly, you can apply for admission with unofficial transcript. That is, you don't need to evaluate your transcript before you can apply for admission. And international applicants coming from Pakistan, Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, Kenya, and other foreign countries do not need IELTS or TOEFL to prove their English language proficiency. And if you're an applicant from Ghana or Nigeria, you can apply with your HND certificate. My name is Kalechi. If you are new here, the aim of my channel is to share with you universities and colleges that offer international students automatic scholarship and require no application fee. It takes a lot of time to get this done. So I've decided to make your life easier so that people who do not have the finance to study abroad are not left behind. A lot of study abroad opportunities have been shared on this channel and feedbacks from people have been really amazing. Apart from going through the study abroad journey myself, I've assisted and continue to guide a lot of international students to their dream schools and programs, including scholarships. Kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I post video. So guys, I'm going to show my screen. I will explore the different programs and scholarships that these universities offer, application deadlines and documents required for application. Please guys, don't forget to hit the like button. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. So friends, we are right inside the official website of the first school. We are going to explore the three schools one after the other. Please don't click away. There are numerous benefits in these three schools. The name of the first school is West Virginia Institute of Technology. As you can see right on the screen, do you have an application fee? Nope. And applying is super easy. Do you offer scholarships? When you apply to West Virginia university you are automatically considered for our valuable scholarship opportunities amazingly west virginia university has test optional admission that is you don't need stt or stt score to apply for admission let me quickly talk you through the, the graduate programs then we'll move into the graduate programs and the different scholarships that apply to both categories for english language proficiency if you're an international applicant coming from countries such as Liberia, Nigeria, Ghana, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Commonwealth Caribbean countries, you don't need to submit out, which is boldly written here. If you completed your bachelor's degree in one of the following countries, then you do not have to submit a test score for English language proficiency. Australia, Canada, Republic of Ireland, New Zealand, United Kingdom, United States are also included so for this particular university you don't need to worry about adults as an international applicant and amazingly they accept a very low gpa as low as 2.75 so which you can see right on the screen that the university considered higher national diplomas from nigeria or ghana to be comparable to u.s bachelor's degree under the following condition the HND is a two-year program that follows the two-year national diploma, that is ND or Ordinary National Diploma OND program for a total of at least four years of post-secondary study. So my subscribers that normally ask me to make a video on the universities that accept HND degree, HND certificates, you can see that West uh, Virginia University accepts HND, that is if you studied in Nigeria, or Ghana. So basically, you can apply to any of their graduate programs with either your HND certificate or your degree certificate, whichever one you have. WVU, that is West Virginia University, doesn't require external credential evaluations. We convert your GPA based on your academic record. So you don't need West, that is WES, evaluation of your transcript before you can apply to admission in this particular university. Let us quickly look into the undergraduate programs. Like I talked previously, they have accounting, biology, adventure recreation management, aerospace engineering, aviation management, chemistry, chemical engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, criminal 
justice, mechanical engineering, nursing, public service administration, sport management, mathematics, health service administration, forensic investigation. Now let us move into the postgraduate programs. Let me also mention that this West Virginia University Institute of Technology has two campuses. The first campus does not offer graduate programs, whereas the Jodo campus, which is located at Morgantown campus, and to access the link to that particular campus, you click on this particular link on the first page. Don't worry, I'm going to leave the link to the in the video description box. So you click on the Morgantown campus to see the graduate programs. As you can see right on the screen, they have over 200 majors for graduate programs. They have accounting, acting, aerospace engineering. They have both masters and doctoral programs. So you have to check if the particular program you're going for offers uh, both masters and uh, doctoral. So aerospace engineering has both masters and doctoral program, which you can see right on the screen. Doctoral means PhD program, agriculture, natural resources and design, animal physiology, animal food and nutrition sciences, applied biostatistics, applied statistics, applied and environmental uh, microbiology. These are the graduate programs. I finished uh, listing out the undergraduate programs. It's art education, art and design, artistic diploma in music performance, athletic training, audiology, biology, biochemistry and molecular medicine, biology, that is the PhD level, Biomedical engineering, biomedical sciences, biomedical engineering has both doctoral and masters as well. Biostatistics, there's business administration, there is uh, business cyber security, there is business data analytics, there is business data technology management, business operation, cancer cell biology, cellular and integrative physiology, chemical engineering, chemistry, civil engineering, clinical rehabilitation, and mental health management, coaching and teaching studies, communication studies, a whole lot of them. I can continue to mention there are over 200 majors. You can see the list is still going. Scroll down to dig out your area of interest, environmental soil and water science. They have epidemiology, a whole lot of graduate programs in this school. And the benefits I've mentioned so far apply to both undergraduate and graduate programs. Now, let us look into the scholarships available in this university, that is the automatic scholarship. They have automatic scholarships, which I've mentioned previously. They also have scholarships that you need to apply to, but most of the automatic scholarships are full funded that if you get it, it covers your tuition fee, stipend and miscellaneous fees. And when you click on cost and ed, you click on scholarships. These are the automatic scholarships. You can see the institutional scholarships that is for fall 2024 and spring 2025. It applies to both residents and non residents. Not automatic scholarships, there are climb higher scholarship, innovator scholarship, departmental scholarships. Then clicking on any of them will give you the monetary values of that particular scholarship. For the first one, they have a uh, the one of $17,000, $12,000, and $8,000, which are renewable to either two years or four years of study, depending on your program and the application deadline, which you can see right here, you have to apply by June, 2024. So you still, you still have enough of time to gather your documents and begin your application for admission. Remember with the automatic scholarships, you don't need a separate application before you can be considered. They will evaluate you through your admission application, whatever document or personal statement, whichever information you put in in your application will be used to assess your eligibility for the automatic scholarships. Then these are other scholarships, but you need to apply separately, which you can see right here. This one requires separate application. So there are about 13 of them. You apply separately. That is after applying for admission in this university. Then for the graduate scholarships, if you have been Watching my videos for a long time now, I've always mentioned that most of the procedures type of funding in USA or Canadian universities are in form of graduate teaching assistantships or teaching, uh, research assistantships. And this particular university also offers that. To see that session, they have both graduate assistantships and um, scholarships. The graduate assistantships are fully funded. When you get it, it covers both your tuition fees, 
and stipend which you can see right here it covers tuition fee waivers stipend and health insurance then for the scholarships and internship section you can see right here that the scholarships cover both stipend tuition waivers and research and travel support scholarships are open to continuing phd students and master's level students and down below you can see the different scholarships for masters and phd students clicking on any of the button will take you to that particular scholarship you read through explore and find the eligibility criteria fortunately the no application fee that i talked about for this particular school is for undergraduate international applicants for graduate international applicants there is a non-refundable fee of 60 dollars however you can do your due diligence and send in an application fee whether letter or email setting your condition that you are unable to uh, pay the application fee and for the second school the name of the school is the university of saint thomas and right there you can see that they have over 55 graduate degree programs and right here these are the different colleges or departments that they have in this university clicking on any of them will take you to the different programs under that particular college so they have college of arts and sciences school of engineering school of education morrison family college of health opus college of business graduate programs in software school of law school of divinity for funding or scholarships they have both institutional scholarships and external scholarship you can see the list of external scholarship done here there are about 10 or 11 of them clicking on any of them will take you to that particular scholarship this is for international students as well you go through it to understand the eligibility criteria let me also mention that this university that is the university of st thomas has both undergraduate and graduate programs to apply for admission in this university is quite straightforward just click on the apply button it will take you to the different colleges that you have in this um, school clicking on any of, any of these colleges that is if that is where your area of interest lies will take you to the application portal for that college take for instance the school of nursing you click on it the first page will open up the first thing you have to do is to create an account you click on sign in put in your name your email address then click on submit you open another page where you will begin your application proper then for deadline for term the starting date is march 1st spring is october 1st summer is april 1st that is the starting date for that particular section however all graduate programs review completed application on a rolling basis and you receive uh, a decision on your the status of your application within two to three weeks of applying the next school is the northwestern Oklahoma State University you can see it right on the screen and for the application fee which I talked about previously apply online today no application fee you can see it's boldly written on the screen so you don't need an application fee before you can apply to this school and they have both undergraduate programs transfer students and graduate program particular school accepts unofficial transcripts for admission application the remaining documents for admission include letter of recommendation statement of purpose or personal statement then for deadline they have program specific deadlines that means you have to check with your own program to understand the deadline for application for example the master of psychology the deadline for application is october 15 for fall semester and march 15 for spring semester the sad news about this particular um, university is that they have limited number of graduate programs. They have only a uh, program in nursing uh, field of study. Americans, there is Master's of Arts in American Studies, Master of Arts in Heritage, Tourism and Conservation, Master of Psychology, Master of Education, and so on. However, the good thing again about this particular school is that they have tuition fee waiver for non-residents, that is international students. All you need to do is to contact the school requesting for the tuition fee waiver. They will direct you on the process to go about it. And the tuition fee waiver, which you can see right here, the non-resident tuition fee waiver policy, it is for undergraduate students and graduate students.